Alright guys, what is going on? I hope you're all doing well. It's Jacob here. Today's video is going to be, you know, slightly off topic, but it's definitely, it's definitely a little bit of knowledge that I want to impart on you guys. Um, today's video is going to cover three tips that I have incorporated into my life within the last six months and, you know, that I'm going to tell you about uh, so that maybe you can start using them in your life to really declutter and, and de-stress you know, your mental space and your, and your head space and your mind. Um, I heard a quote recently that said, your mind is like a balloon getting blown this way, that way, this way, that way, constantly. You've constantly got all these thoughts going around in your head and, you know, you can never really get it under control. And, and it's so true, you can't. But what I've managed to do is incorporate things into my life that has allowed me to really you know, take away most of the, the, the bad clutter, the clutter that's just, you know, thoughts that, that uh, are just going round and round and round. Um, I've also managed to take away a lot of the negativity that was happening subconsciously. You know, you don't even know it's happening as far as like your environment. I mean, your environment that you're in, as far as your house, your bedroom and things, it's so important. And, and subconsciously, you know, if you're not in a good environment, that's definitely going to affect your mental space and it's going to affect your, your positivity and your output in life, you know, uh, everything, to be honest. And, you know, the first thing I'm going to talk about is your environment. And about six months ago, I, I looked at my, my bedroom and, you know, it was a fucking tip. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It was, it was shocking. And every morning I'd wake up and I'd look at it and I'd walk past it and I'd, I'd, I'd think that it's okay. But subconsciously that was already, that was, you know, first thing in the morning before I did anything, it was putting me in a really negative headspace. So one day I decided to clean absolutely everything. I dusted, I cleaned the windows, I vacuumed, I folded up every single one of my pieces of clothing, put it in order. Uh, I, I bought shitloads of coat hangers, I hung up every single top and singlet that I had, every single jumper, I put it, I even put it in colour coded order. And that night when I went to bed, I looked around my room and I was like, yeah, you know what, that is awesome. And I'm so glad that I did that because yeah, it might take half a day to do it first up. But from there, it's only going to take about 10 minutes a week to keep it maintained. And that's what I've done for the last six months. So. You know, as far as your environment, if you're flatting, you're obviously not going to be able to control your, your lounge room and your kitchen as much as you'd like. Um, but as far as your bedroom, your space, you know, keep it tidy, you know, be proud of it. Because as I said, first thing in the morning when you wake up, you want to be filled with positivity. You don't want to look around and be disappointed and, and, and think, oh shit, I've got to do that, you know. You just want to crack into the day as positive as possible. And, and sorting out my bedroom once and for all really, really helped with that. So that is my first tip, guys. That's definitely my first tip. If you can do that around your whole house, I mean, I live, I live in my own house, so I can do that. It might take a day, it might take half a day to do that in the first place, but once you do, it's gonna make you so happy and it's, it's not gonna take long at all, maybe half an hour, an hour per week to maintain that. And, and you know, that, that positivity really does um, count for a lot in, in life. And from there, guys, I'm going to roll into my second tip, which is to do with finances. Now, <laughs> okay, you've cleaned your bedroom, that's out of the way. You've still got bills to pay, all right? Not everyone is in a good financial situation. I think, you know, what is the, what's the major cause of divorce? Um, financial hardship. Luckily, I don't have a wife, so my financial hardships did not affect my relationship, but I tell you what, there was, there was a point there where I was getting extremely stressed. I had bills, you know, coming up to my eyeballs. I couldn't pay everything. And the only thing I could do at that point to actually make things better, you know, I couldn't pay everything, like I said. The only thing I could actually do was to just organize everything. So what I did, I went to Kmart, I bought a $10 organizer, and I took all of my bills, and I took all of my statements, all of my credit card statements, insurance policies, mortgage policies. I had so much shit going around in my head like a balloon going this way, that way, this way, that way. Remembering that, forgetting that, remembering that, forgetting that. 
I got all of ev I got everything together and I put it in this organizer. I put little labels on it, and every single statement, every every single bill that comes in now, I open it without you know without feeling like it's just going to be thrown away. I open it, I look at it, I read it, I take it all in, and then I put it away in my little organizer, and it's done. Okay, it, whether I can pay it or not at that point, it doesn't matter. Okay. Actually, what I do, the ones that I've paid, I put away. The ones that I haven't, I keep out. But it's not like, it's not like it was before, guys. It's certainly not. You know, I've got order to my finances. And that is going to, man, that's going to help so much. Especially as you get older, you start having more responsibilities. Finances is, man, it's, it's the biggest cause of stress. And, um, you know, like I said, you may not be able to pay every bill right now, but at least have it organized and it's certainly going to help in that positivity and you know clearing that headspace and making it just a little a little better a little easier okay so thirdly guys the third tip is going to be all right so so thirdly the third tip guys it you know on the same so the third tip guys so the third tip guys so the third tip guys you know it's it's so the third tip guys is Like I said, your mind is like a balloon going this way, that way, this way, that way. Not only do you have your job to go to, not only do you have all your bills, your insurances, mortgage payments to worry about, you might have kids, you might have a wife, you've got so much shit to worry about. Write a list. Write a list. Writing lists may seem like a task, but you know, just like I mentioned in the first tip, Okay, it's not going to take half a day to write these lists. It's going to take literally 10 minutes, 20 minutes, half an hour. Brainstorm, you know, I bought, I went out to Kmart. Not only did I buy the organizer, I bought two journals, all right? So I've got one, an A4 one, and I've got an A5 one. And they're filled with lists, guys. Got all of those ideas out of my head where they were just being bounced around forgotten about, remembered again, oh shit, you know, I've got to do that, forgotten about again, another thing would come into my head, and you know, nothing would get done. And I realized, holy shit, I need to write this shit down. And what you'll find is that once you do write something down, once you grab that idea that you've got, you write it down on paper, you can forget about it, and it's gone, because you've got it on paper, all right? So let's say you do that about a lot of things. How much space, how much mental space can you clear through writing lists? Amazing tool, and it's something I use daily. I honestly do. Whether it's on my hand at work, when I think about something, I write it. I make sure I write it down because, like I keep saying, your mind has so much shit to worry about. When you come when you come across a good idea, guys, and it could happen anywhere, write it down, man. Write it down. So those are you know those are three tips that I've been using. I'm not going to ramble on too long, um, I, I, I think you've probably got the gist of it right now, but three things that I've incorporated into my life that have really, really helped me become more positive, clear my head, and become more productive, you know, it, it really has helped. So that's number one, clear your environment, you know, have a nice, clean environment that is not going to subconsciously put you into a negative space before you've even left the fucking house, all right, because that's what it was doing to me. Number two, sort your finances out. Whether that be pay them, whether that be put them on payment plans so they can sort of get out of your head, or whether that just be go and buy an organizer like I did from Kmart, 10 bucks, and put all your statements in there, label them, and then you've got like this case here, and it's, 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 that's your finances, all right? It's not up here anymore, and it's not all the bills that have been thrown in the bin. It's right here in your case, all right? Put it there put your organizer there and it's done. Those are your finances. And then obviously as new bills come in, you put them where they're meant to be and you just keep it up. You keep it up. It's a little bit of effort at the start, but to maintain it, it's just like losing weight, man. It's so hard to get where you want to be, but once you get there, once it's so it's so much easier to maintain, right? And thirdly is write lists. Buy a journal, buy a buy a diary, buy a book and you know, have it by your bed, have it at work, whatever. And you know, start making lists, guys. Start making lists, cross things off, write more stuff down, have a brainstorm about things. It's huge, it's huge to get this shit out of your head onto paper so then you can forget about it and use your brain to fucking be 
are far more productive rather than just worry about stuff over and over again, which is what I found myself doing. So I hope you guys have got something out of this. Um, we're sporting the man bun. This has been months and months in the, in the making. So uh, whenever you see this video, I'm not sure when you'll see it. I hope, hopefully a lot of people see it. You know, my, my channel is going well. It's going okay. You know, my subscribers are actually going up which I'm so, so stoked about. So if you are a subscriber, you know, if you subscribe through this video, thank you so much. I don't know what journey I'm on right now, but I do know I'm just gonna continue doing what I do, being real, being myself. That's what my channel's all about. And that's definitely what I wanna bring um, to you guys in the future. So with that being said, guys, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.